Hello there! Today I'll be making a tier list for all the attractions at Hong Kong Disneyland. If this is your first time visiting Disney Parks Addict, I like to make videos about all the Disney parks around the world. So if that's something you'll be interested in, then consider subscribing now to keep up to date with all my future content. First, I'll work my way through all the attractions that can also be found at other Disney parks, and then I'll take a deeper look into the exclusive attractions that can only be found at this wonderful Disney resort. Let's start with the attractions and shows on Main Street, USA. The first two attractions as you enter the park on the right is the Animation Academy and the Art of Animation. Animation Academy is where you can learn to draw your favorite Disney characters, along with a Disney animator. Although the presentation is only in Cantonese, it can still be enjoyed by everyone. The Art of Animation is an exhibition of the different animation techniques used by Disney throughout the years using theater presentations and interactive exhibits. I wouldn't rush to do these attractions as you enter the park, but they are great activities to do later in the day. I'm going to put the Animation Academy in the C tier and the Art of Animation in the D tier. Moving on to the biggest adventure land in any of the Disney parks, which features many of the fan favorite attractions. The Jungle River Cruise is offered in three different languages and has some unique elements, including a waterfall on fire, but no backside of water. I'm a big fan of all the different Jungle Cruises, so I'll be putting this into S tier. The Festival of the Lion King is a show featuring many different types of performances, as well as all your favorite songs to sing along to. It has some elements in Cantonese, but can still be enjoyed by all guests. It isn't as long or as exciting as the version in Animal Kingdom, but it's still a B tier attraction. The last attraction in Adventureland is Tarzan's Treehouse, which is on Tarzan's Island. It can be accessed by rafts similar to Tom Sawyer Island in Disneyland. It is a walkthrough attraction with many different characters and secrets that can be found throughout this amazing treehouse. Although I like it, I'm going to put it in the C tier as it is just a walkthrough attraction. Moving on to Toy Story Land, which was added in 2011. It's very similar to the Toy Story Playland at Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris and the newly built Toy Story Land in Shanghai Disneyland. It features three attractions, RC Racer, a steel shuttle roller coaster, which gives you some high thrills for such a simple ride. Slinky Dog Spin, a caterpillar style ride, which is a great way to introduce younger children to thrill rides. And Toy Soldier Parachute Drop, which hoists guests up an 80 foot tower before gently tumbling back down to earth in a series of rises and falls. It is also a great way to get that amazing view of the park and its surroundings. I'm going to put Slinky Dog and Parachute Drop into C tier and RC Racer one better into B tier. Now on to Fantasyland. Here you can find some of the Disneyland classic attractions like Dumbo the Flying Elephant, a flying carousel style ride, Mad Hatter Teacups, the infamous spinning teacup ride and the popular Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh a dark ride featuring all the lovable characters from the books and animations. This ride is one of the only two attractions that offers fast pass, as it can get quite busy throughout the day. I feel Winnie the Pooh deserves a B tier placement and the other two just C tier. Another opening day attraction is the 4D show Philha Magic, an awesome 12 minute animation with added effects, scents and water and featuring Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse. I love this classic show and think that it fully deserves a B tier spot. The Dark Boat Ride It's a Small World was added in 2008 and features 38 Disney characters as well as an expanded Asian section to represent more local nationalities. I'm not a huge fan of the repetitive soundtrack and the creepy dolls so we'll be putting this into D tier. The last original Disneyland area is Tomorrowland, which since 2016 has had a Star Wars takeover overlay, and due to its popularity has stuck around. 
Space Mountain is now Hyper Space Mountain with a full size X Wing in the queue line as well as Star Wars theme throughout the ride. As a Space Mountain and Star Wars fan, it is definitely going into the S tier. There is also a Star Wars command post where you can meet Chewbacca and BB-8 as well as a Jedi training academy for younger guests to train to be a Jedi and fight Darth Vader. Both of these will go into the C tier. The last classic attraction is the spinning spaceship ride Orbitron, similar to the Astro Orbiter that can be found at other Disney parks. It's similar to Dumbo, just with a reskin, so I'll also put this into C tier. I will now move on to the five unique attractions and nighttime entertainment that can be found in Hong Kong Disneyland. Sticking with Tomorrowland, the first ever Marvel attraction in a Disney park arrived in 2017 in the form of Iron Man Experience, a 3D motion simulator very similar to Star Tours which has guests fighting alongside Tony Stark with the story taking place at the Stark Expo in Hong Kong Disneyland and also the city of Hong Kong. If you're a Marvel fan, it is sure not one to be missed. Personally, I prefer Star Tours, so this will just miss out on an S tier slot and will be put into the A tier. In 2019, they added another Marvel attraction into Tomorrowland with a complete overhaul of Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle is still a shooting dark ride but you fight alongside the two mini superheroes while you get smaller and smaller as you fight Arnim Zola and his army of Hydra Swarm bots. It uses the latest in laser technology for better precision shooting and the overall feel of the ride is definitely better than its predecessor. Due to the upgrade and the rewrite ability I'll be putting this into A tier. Now to the other side of the park, two unique lands were added in 2012 and 2013. Grizzly Gulch was the first and is stylistically similar to Frontierland, albeit a bit smaller. It only features one attraction, but it's the best roller coaster in the park. Big Grizzly Mountain Runaway Minecars is similar to Big Thunder Mountain but also shares some similarities to Expedition Everest due to it having a backwards portion and rock and roller coaster with its high speed launch. It is a must ride for any thrill seeker. It is definitely an S tier attraction. The other new land is Mystic Point, which also only features one attraction, but it's the best in the park. The Haunted Mansion styled ride, Mystic Manor, is a trackless dark ride which has incredible theming and a deep backstory that will make you want to ride it over and over. This was the birthplace of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers which is now being used to link many different attractions and restaurants in other Disney parks around the world. Also with music produced by the legendary Danny Elfman, this is a great ride not to be missed. As I've already said, it's the best ride in the park and one of my all-time favorite Disney attractions. So we'll of course be going into the S tier. The final unique attraction is Mickey and the Wondrous Book, a 28 minute stage show that can be found in the Storybook Theater in Fantasyland. This wonderful show features Mickey and Goofy discovering a magical book which transports them into some classic Disney stories including The Jungle Book and Aladdin. Each section features a few characters and songs from different movies, making it entertaining for guests of all ages. All the songs are in English, but the spoken lines are in Cantonese, but with English subtitles projected onto screens. This is a great show unique to Hong Kong Disneyland, and it's the best show in the park, and will be put into the A tier. There are currently two nighttime shows that both originated at Hong Kong Disneyland. We Love Mickey is a projection show that transforms Main Street into a canvas of vibrant colorful visuals to a backdrop of pumping electronic music. Stick around to the end to see a special guest appear at the bottom of Main Street. It's a great show, but only worth a place in the C tier. 
The final show of the evening is Paint the Night, an electric light parade that flows down Main Street. A total of seven floats and 740,000 individual LED lights, making this a dazzling show. You can even buy merchandise that is programmed to change color along with the performance, so guests can become part of the show. I like this nighttime parade, but it's still only a B-tier attraction. So that rounds up all the current attractions at Hong Kong Disneyland. There are many more attractions coming over the next few years, so I'll be sure to update this video in the future. Let me know in a comment down below which are your favorite attractions at this wonderful park. And if you want to see my review for Hong Kong Disneyland or another tier list video for a different Disney park, then click the link at the end of the video or in the pinned comment down below. I'll be making more videos like this for all the Disney parks around the world, so consider subscribing to Disney Parks Addict to keep up to date with all my future content. Thanks for watching.